Scott. Right. Mate, you are going to taste the best hummus you've ever had in your life today. Oh, look at all these ingredients, Russ. We're going to make loaded hummus. I'm going to load a beautiful, smooth, creamy hummus. I've got to say it correctly. Hummus. 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 And we're going to serve some beautiful, sustainable sardine fillets look. on top. OK, let's go. Have you got 10 minutes? Russ, for you, of course I've got 10 minutes. Good. Well, we're going to peel the chickpeas. Yeah, I knew you'd have a menial job for me. <laughs> These are tinned chickpeas. OK. Now, all you've got to do to make the smoothest hummus known to man is pop them out of the skin. We're going to get these peeled, but you know what? What's up? I've, I've done some already. You're going to make me keep doing these, Look. though, aren't you? Yeah. Look at that. We're going to get our chickpeas yep. into the food process, into the thermomix. About 75 mils of lemon juice, a good dose of salt, a nice spoonful of tahini. It's got such a big flavour, hasn't it? I've kept 150 mils right. from those two tins of the juice from the tin. Right. This is a really important tip for my hummus. I've cooked the garlic in some water in the microwave, covered with a piece of wrap right. for one minute on right. high. This is beautifully smooth, we've lost that acrid kind of intensity, but we've got the garlic flavour. In it goes, lid on. You've got to give this, I'd say, at least five minutes. Right. Let's get it out. We'll start off by getting the hummus ready to receive all the loading. Right. So, a nice spread like that. Yeah, now I can tell you're a real chef. Look at the way you're doing that. Love it. Let's get our stove on. We're going to cook this fish. We're going to sear it really quickly, skin side down. And why have you chosen uh, local sardines to go with this one? Look, I love them. A, flavour. They're rich, they're full of fat, they're full of omega-3s. The other thing is, our children and our children's children are going to be able to eat sardines because it's a sustainable fishery. I love that. Best tip you've given me is you can chuck them in the freezer because they look a bit fiddly to fill it, so you can buy them filleted and leave them in the freezer. And the fat, the fattiness in this fish holds them really well. But I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a better tip than that. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Let's get this beautiful olive oil in the pan. That's a little bit of olio bello, a really intense pungent olive oil. We'll get the sardines, a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. Now, pop it in away from you so it doesn't spatter with the fat. That's the sound I love. It smells like the Mediterranean. I reckon matching up here with your hummus, good thinking, chef. You want a hand there, Scotty? No, I reckon I can work it out. Thanks, mate. You can see, as they're cooking, it's just going opaque. Yeah, right, look at that. Would you believe that they're cooked? Two minutes. Not even two minutes, mate. Over they come. I want texture on this plate, okay. so I'm going to use some nuts. I've got some almonds, just a few, some pepitas, a few walnuts. But for a beautiful, fresh crunch, I'm using these cukes. Beautifully crunchy. Got a great sweetness to them as well, haven't they? I'm an absolute sicko for radish. That's looking great before we even finish. Look at all those textures and flavours and colours. Now, we're just going to put some red onion. I've washed that. Now, I'm a... I love my dill. I love my dill. Were you about to say you're a dill? Uh, I was actually going to say you're a dill. Right, okay, good. Well, I'll put some dill on. Is that all right? <laughs> Mint? Just, I'm happy to tear it up, Scotty. I think it works. I mean, you tear it up all the time, but I'm happy to tear it up. Uh, that's a barman's version of putting that's, mint on it. you just got to release it. It's not the a flavor. cocktail. Come would, on. would you like me to teach you something? You try it. You smell that. Just smell it. Now, put I it between your hands. From you. Give it a slap. Now, have a smell. Hey, you're right, Come mate. Come on. That is full on. Now, feta. This is a beautiful organic feta. I can already tell the flavours and textures in this dish. Gee, that looks absolutely blinding, doesn't it? Look at that. A little bit of uh, liquid gold. Nuevo. Nuevo. The olive oil. And we just do a little blessing with some sumac. Oh, look how chefy you are. Smoky citrus flavour from sumac. What have we forgot? Mate. The bread, we of need course. the bread. <laughs> Let's get it on. Turkish flatbread from the Turkish bakeries. If sardines aren't my thing, I don't have to put sardines on, do I? Look, really, a loaded hummus is just make the hummus and open the fridge and empty your fridge on. Yeah. Get some nuts out of the cupboard. Yeah. It's really a, the perfect fridge emptier. Cheers, mate. 
glass of wine. Come I'll, on. I'll, I'll get it. It's a pretty big fish. It's a pretty challenging taste experience. Really oily, quite broad and fat in your mouth. It's quite a good fun thing to match a wine with as well. This time I'm going with a little Fumé Blanc that I've chosen from the guys at Truffle Hill. And Fumé Blanc, just put simply, means that it's barrel fermented. So, real simple process. You pick the grapes, you squeeze the grapes and you end up with grape juice. So you've got to ferment that into wine and there's two places that you can do that. Either in a great big stainless steel vat that's pretty inert and the only flavours that are going to end up in the bottle are those grapey kind of flavours. It's cleaner, it's fresher. Or you can ferment it in a barrel so it sits in a great big wooden barrel and the flavours interact between that barrel on a molecular level. So there's vanilla that's coming out of the barrel, um, there's toasty kind of spicy sort of flavours and characters. It brings an extra dimension of weight and texture as well. So when you get a big fish, big weighty fish, like this sardine, a big weighty wine that's barrel fermented is the way to go. Cheers.